We're in North London for this one. It's the Emirates Stadium. I'm Guy Mowbray, and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And we've got action from the Premier League here today. It's Arsenal, and they play Crystal Palace. Yeah, cheers, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off, though, and they start quickly. But I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully, I've not just cursed it. He's so important to his team's chances is Martin Odegaard. What are the chances of him shining in this game? Well, for me, it's the way he combines with his teammates, always wants the ball. Once he's passed it, he's on the move, wants it back again. He's a pleasure to watch. I'm sure we'll see more of that today. This is how Arsenal line up. Ben White plays with Alexander Zinchenko as fullbacks. Bakayo Saka starts with Gabriel Martinelli out wide. And the main man leading the attack is Gabriel Jesus. Number 35, Alexander Zinchenko. This is the Crystal Palace lineup. Yeah, it's a 4 5 1, but it will morph into a 4 2 3 1. The single centre forward will be supported by the number 10 and you'd expect them to rotate and swap positions just to try and drag defenders out. The wide midfielders, they'll offer a threat in behind. Off we go, the match is underway. Odegaard. Jesus! Well, that hasn't taken long. In front already. If we take a look at this again, it's great sense of forward play. Uses his body so well, spins his marker, and then finishes it off nicely. So it's 1-0 as the game restarts. Eberechi Eze. Odson Edouard. And not getting close enough here. And that has missed. Needs to reset in time for the next chance. Declan Rice. Havertz. Jesus. What a chance. Well, he's got two now, and he's playing a starring role here. Well, here's the replay. And just look at the way he glides past the defender. Makes it look so easy. And then it's quite the finish too. Struck with real venom. And that's what makes it difficult for the keeper. So off we go. 2-0 the score now. space and he's finding it possession lost just at the point of something happening Jesus Saka 
Jesus, can he finish? Jefferson Lerma moving the ball forward. What can they do with this? Found nicely and in. And a wonderful piece of goalkeeping. Well, I just thought it was a goal. He's through 1v1, but the keeper does brilliant. Narrows the angle and shows great reactions to save that. Over it comes. No problem at all in keeping that one out. Ben White on to Erdegaard. Need to get tighter here. Saka. Oh, he's done well to get past his man. And that has stopped any potential danger. Zinchenko. Having a look, and the keeper makes the save. And really, we shouldn't have expected anything else. Delivered into the box. The corner hasn't amounted to much. Odds on Edouard. Breaking at pace, this could be dangerous. A body in the way. It's put into the middle. Oh, fantastic effort. Made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. And that's pretty straightforward for the keeper. Jesus. Jesus. Saka. Saka. Terrific. Another goal. What a scoreline this is for them. Well, here we can see it again. He hits it so cleanly. Perfect contact. And the keeper never really had a chance. It's a fantastic strike. Away we go again then. The Arsenal masterclass continues. He's beaten his marker here. Now, this has to be. A turnaround in possession. Excellent positioning. Oh, excellent vision. And the flag has gone up. Well, he's got to play the ball quicker for me. You can only hold your run for so long. Martinelli, Havertz, Jesus, need to get tighter here, and two becomes three as he completes his hat-trick, a superb performance. the replay and it's a nice bit of skill to beat his man that he keeps his composure to finish it off well it's a quality goal that
Well, the game restarts amidst a dominant first half performance. The scoreline tells you all you need to know. Jeffrey Schlupp. They're not getting close enough here. Wasteful from Arsenal. Saka. Saka. Martinelli. And that's going to be all for the first half here at Arsenal. Well, he's produced a masterful performance up to this point. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's one of the best first half performances I've seen in a long time. No wonder they keep giving him the ball. Absolutely dominant. And now it's just a question of how many is he going to get. So away we go then for the second half. Odegaard. On he goes, terrific. Dear, oh dear, not a good attempt. Oh, he's just gone for power, hasn't he? He's caught it well enough, but it's not even close in the end. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. And there's the whistle as the ref gives a free kick. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? Oh, worth a shot. And that's nice and easy for the goalkeeper. Kai Havertz. Well, they could get caught out on the break here. And that's where it ends. Erdegaard. Jesus. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Get rid of it. And that's where it ends with possession lost. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Moving forward under no real pressure. Still problems for them here. Very well kept out, alert and ready. Being pressed here. The referee playing advantage. Could be a chance to break here. Well, that was not where the pass was intended to go. Puts it back. The keeper quick to get across and make the save. They decide against putting it in. It's played into the box. It's a goal. That's something. We say you never know sometimes, but I think we do.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a well-worked corner. He elects to go short, changes the angle before the ball goes in. And it's intelligent movement and a strong connection to take it past the goalkeeper. It's a good finish, that. And away we go again at 4-1 now. Making good progress here. Coming off the pitch, number 41, Declan Rice, to be replaced by number 20. Given away by Arsenal. Eze. Now, this has to be. Oh, it's still in there. Oh, it's in. And just like that, they're right back into this with all the momentum behind them now. Well, looking at the replay, this is a really good initial save. You've got to feel sorry for him that the ball falls to an opponent. I'm not sure he could have done much more, to be honest. And the game gets going again at 4-2. Play continues as the ref lets that go. That's a lovely cut inside. This could be dangerous. Havertz, another goal. And surely there's no way they can throw this away now. Absolutely dominant. Well, if we watch this again, it's all about being alert in and around the box. And when the ball falls to him, he's clinical. That's a really nice finish. And the game gets going once more at 5-2. Tyrick Mitchell... Can he finish? Oh, yes. Everyone knew exactly what he wanted to do, but that's perfectly placed beyond the keeper. A finish of real class. Well, here's the replay. And just look at the way he glides past the defender. Makes it look so easy. And it's a brilliant finish. He strikes through the ball. The keeper has no chance. It's a superb finish. And this incredible game goes again with the score 5-3 now. Well, not long to go until the end and the hosts well in charge. They've put on a super show. Yeah, you've got to say they deserve the victory. The work rate on and off the ball has been really good and you can see they've got a real determination today and it shows and it would be an excellent result. The counter looks on here. Options available. Jesus. Smith Rowe. Can he finish? The goalkeeper more than ready for it. Over it comes. And the corner comes to nothing. Saka. Good work to win the ball and stop something happening. Jairo Riedewald. Martinelli. Found nicely and in. Mateta. 
And there's the whistle as the ref gives a free kick. And away from danger it goes. Jairo Riedewald. Has the space to whip it in here. And they've scored! This is not yet over. They'll have to be quick about it, but just one more needed now. As the replay shows, the goalkeeper does everything he can. He's a bit unfortunate it goes in, but question marks have to be asked of his defence. They could have certainly helped him out. And it's all over with the Arsenal fans able to celebrate the win and the three points. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. It was a real competitive game. There were chances at both ends. And they probably just about edged it overall, though. Deserved the result, in my opinion.